Hello. Um, I'm making this short video uh, for a comment that someone asked me about how uh, to potentially make an AI that teleports around and shoots you. So I'm going to take a look here with um, another little game uh, thing that I worked on for a little bit uh, for another tutorial series um, that already has like a level and we have like an AI here that will move around, it'll follow us, it'll shoot at us once it sees us. Um, and we're going to modify him initially so that he can teleport around us uh, and shoot us instead of like moving. Um, then I'm going to, I want to take a look at uh, how we might set up this uh, behavior with, uh, without using a behavior tree or without even using a nav mesh. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to jump into this uh, AI's behavior tree, uh, which I have AI we just called basic AI. Uh, and what we have here is basically just some simple logic. If you don't know what a behavior tree is, I very much recommend them for AI. They're very, very powerful. And if you need them to do anything more complicated than, you know, move around or shoot the player, um, then you're going to want to start using a behavior tree. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is instead of going to using a move to actor, I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to do this by... Uh, currently modifying the shoot while moving uh, service that I have. Uh, if you're not familiar with a service is, a service runs as long as this particular node, whatever it's on, is running. It will receive just like uh, a task can receive an AI execute and, and it uh, waits for an AI finish execute. Um, a, a service will run concurrently to anything underneath it and it will run as long as the node it's on is running. So I'm going to go over and we're going to open up our shoot while moving service uh, which basically was handling the logic so that it would continue to shoot as long as it was following someone and we're going to add in a little bit of information here so we can teleport around. So I'm going to add in another timer. It's a timer by event and for this I'm going to give it like two seconds and we're going to make sure this loops. We'll make ourselves a new custom event. Uh, this will be called teleport AI. And we will make sure we delegate that. And the last thing to do to make sure this runs properly is we are going to make sure that we add this to the uh, deactivation. So we're going to make sure we clear and validate this. And make sure we unclick that because we don't need to invalidate it the moment it's been created. All right, and then from here, uh, what we just need to do, since we have a nav mesh, we just need to get a random navigatable point. Uh, so typing in random nav, and we're going to get a random reachable point in radius is what I'm going to use here. And for our origin, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my blackboard value. So I'm actually going to get blackboard value as object. And for our key, we're going to promote this to a variable so that we can set this. And this is going to be um, teleport center like compile. And so whatever we have that set to, uh, we're going to make sure that this is an actor. So we're going to get actor or get or cast to actor. This just lets me uh, if you're not familiar with it, object is the an object is the base cl uh, class for anything in Unreal. Really, it has no good logic, has nothing. It doesn't even have like get actor location things like that. If you want to use any of the you know the basic functionality, you have to at least uh, promote uh, what you're going to look for for information wise to um, to an actor level. And so if I make just as an example here. Like if I type in from here, uh, get actor location, you'll see nothing shows up. So get, there's get actor. But if I type in get actor location here, we we have that functionality. We have that built-in function or information I can grab from it. And I will use that as my center. And I'm just going to use this uh, radius. I'm going to set this to like, uh, let's go with like 800, just a generic value. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to not use this as pure. Uh, just because I want to make sure that uh, the very first time we use it, I'm not going to encounter any issues. So if the cast fails, I'll just use a print statement for failure. So 
failure in shoot while moving. And that's just to be 100% sure nothing crazy is going to happen if this is uh, not set properly. And then we just need to teleport. So we just need to go grab ourselves our pawn reference. And we're going to use uh, set actor location. I will run that and I will pipe into it the position we found. That's really all the logic, the logic we need here. Let me go back to my behavior tree. And if I click on here, oh, actually, I need to expose this. There we go. Let's compile it again. Go back to our behavior tree. And then I can tell it that I want to use the aim target, whatever I'm aiming at, as the center of my like teleportation zone or wherever I'm grabbing these random points from. The other thing I'm going to do here, because this is going to run, and then it's going to run rotate to face BB, and then just stop. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it a, a little wait command, so we're not going super crazy with it. Just make it wait for like one second. Uh, and I'm going to add in another decorator. I'm going to add in the loop decorator. And I'm going to just make this thing loop infinitely so that once this, uh, once this particular sequence triggers, it will stay here until the AI effectively dies. And so now with that AI I have in the world that I just showed you guys, now he's going to shoot at me. He's going to start teleporting around based on a given distance from me which might be behind me, might be in front of me, it's kind of random. There he goes. If I can see him, I can try to shoot him. There we go. So that's how I would do it if I had both a, a nav mesh to work with and I was doing like behavior tree stuff. That's probably how I would start approaching setting that kind of system up. Um, there might be some other better ways with behavior trees so you're not you're necessarily looping, but um, for what my purposes are, that's where I would probably plug that in. Uh, if we want to do that with just the nav mesh and not using behavior trees, what I'll do here is I will make like just a new blueprint class. I'm just going to make an actor, and this isn't going to be a 100% AI. This is we're just going to I'm just going to show you guys the mechanic. We're going to move a cube around randomly. This is going to be one of those. Uh, let's see here. I'll add ourselves in a cube component. I'll go to the event graph and this will be one of those on begin play or you know what we'll do this this way. We will add in a collision and we will use that collision to trigger oops too much. We'll use that collision to trigger the start of this. So there's there's his quote unquote sensing. And so this box collision, component begin overlap, we will simply set this other actor. We'll make this a do once. And then the other actor will be uh, promoted to a variable. And this will be our teleport center. And from there, we're going to do, again, a set timer by event. Um, I like to keep things off of tick if I can. We could turn tick on and off for this, but this is kind of better practice than using tick for everything. Teleport, teleport self is what I'll call myself. I will delegate that out. Uh, that was a little bit fast. So let's go to three seconds this time around. Um, and then we are going to uh, basically do the same thing. Get random reachable point radius. We will use our teleport center. Get actor location as the center, or as our origin. Uh, we'll go with 800 again. And then, then we're just going to set actor location. We're looking, we're referencing ourself. There we go, there's our new location. And now, if I drag that into the world, I'll delete the old AI. If 
I go walk up to it. Our box will start wandering around. So that's how I would do it if I had a nav mesh. If I had absolutely no nav mesh and no behavior trees to work with, uh, I would do this slightly differently. There is a very, very useful note here. Uh, random point in bounding box is extremely useful. We can use this same kind of concept. I will delete this node. And I will connect, this is our origin. And then for our box extents, what I will do here is I will grab, um, let's see here. I will grab here the, um, just we'll give it like some random value. So this would be 800 by 800. Um, and we're gonna give it zero height that it can play with or just, you know, yeah, because we just want it to return whatever that actual one is. And then I'll just plug that into uh, this. And then it should still work without having to rely on a nav mesh. All right, three seconds should go by, and then it should start moving itself around. Just like that. And so that's how it kind of I would begin approaching that kind of uh, that kind of question of how do you make an AI that randomly teleports around the player? All right, thanks for watching.